Hi guys, this is Alex and I am back with another video. I don't know if you can hear any of the background noise, but I am sorry if you can. So today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about style. Someone asked me what my style is and uh, to be honest, I don't know. I don't think I do anything specific. Uh, to keep myself into a specific style. I tend to just draw what I like and how I like and then Naturally my style is just my expression. I don't think you can really Create your style. It comes from exploring Different things. It comes from choosing what you like. It comes from the kind of work you like to do. And that's truly my stance on this. If you are looking for your style, then maybe you just need to experiment a little bit more. Maybe you just need to find out what you actually like to draw and how you like to draw it. I personally am <laughs> ever changing. I don't think I ever will stop developing and I don't think I will ever stick to just one thing. I think I will keep going, but even in different works, like different types of work I do, people always tell me they can see my style. I don't know what that means, to be perfectly honest, it's not something I think about um, actively, that I'm thinking, oh yeah, this is totally my style. I, I, don't, I don't go around talk, uh, thinking like that, I just make what I want and make it the way I know how to do it best. So I think style is sort of one of those things that you can't really find. It's always it's already there. It's within you. You can you can sort of experiment and figure out, oh yeah, well I like to do the eyes bigger or I like to do cuter faces or I like to do landscapes in this etc way. I don't think, but I don't think it comes from anywhere else but inside of you. So follow your gut feeling. If you don't know what your style is, that is really my best advice. Just follow your gut. It's so, so important that you always follow your heart when it comes to art, because if you don't, what's really the point of doing it? I, if, if it's not what you love, then why are you doing it? Let's be real. <laughs> and if, if what you love is drawing just women, or if what you love is drawing just blue skies, or oceans, or mermaids, I, it doesn't matter, just do it. That's what you should do. If that's what you love to do, that's what you should do. And your style will express itself through what you love, it's so obvious when someone has passion for what they do. I know that people will tell me all the time they can see that I have passion for what I do when I do my fantasy work. And quite frankly, my best pieces are the ones that I don't think too much about. Um, this piece was one where I wanted to experiment a little bit with backgrounds. I didn't really start off with anything specific. I was just sketching and then I drew the body of this dog. It was supposed to be a sight hound. And I just drew that body and <clears throat> very quickly figure out, figured out that, well, maybe what if, what if it had like a human attached to it? Because it didn't have a neck. So I was like, oh, well, maybe we could do this. <laughs> And as someone else pointed out, I have a tendency to focus on my mistakes rather than what I like about a piece. That's just me being naturally observant of what I need to improve. It's not because I hate my pieces. I, I, I feel like I had to get that out there because they're probably not the only ones who've noticed. So. I'm going to try and make it a habit to also point out the things I do like. So, let's start with this one. <laughs> I Let's start with the things I didn't like. So, I didn't like the whole uh, composition in the end. 
it's a bit mm, not so dynamic as I pictured and I didn't like all the anatomical features I don't really like the face <clears throat> but I will say this was such a good good challenge I love the way I drew her belly and her torso I love that I experimented a lot with this piece I just kind of went with it I like the hands and I also like the hair a lot I did not necessarily like the background but it's just because I need more practice with backgrounds so I I did my best and you know overall I don't think this piece is bad in any way but I also think there are things I could improve and that's what I'm going to try to do in future pieces like this going to try and see if I can you know somehow do better than this I really want to, but this is definitely not the worst of my pieces. I kind of I kind of do like this piece, but also kind of don't like all aspects of it, but I guess that never really happens. So I think this is about where I finished the piece, so I wanted to thank you all for following me here on YouTube, following my journey with this fantasy stuff. I still have a bit of a backlog, so I have now I have two videos left, I think. And yeah, I will see you guys probably in my next video. If you like this piece, leave a comment. Uh, if you have any suggestions, also leave a comment. <laughs> and thank you all for watching.